HowToMakeAnything.com. Today on HowToMakeAnything.com, I'm going to share with you how to use track motion in Vegas. And track motion is just exactly what it says. It will allow you to add motion to your video along the track you select. Anything you do uh, or modify uh, with the track motion tool found here in the sidebar will affect the entire track, not just a specific clip, which is what the pan crop tool is for, which we'll talk about at another time. So go ahead and click on track motion once you have your video there, and you'll see a representation of your video, which you can grab and move around like so with your mouse. You can also rotate it by moving over this circle here do any kind of uh, motion you want. And notice these things can also be controlled over here in position and rotation. If you want to do it numerically or, or have some nice fine tuning, you can also make your video bigger or smaller, grab it on the corner, um, and just you can essentially move it any, anywhere in 2D space. Um, but how do you animate it? Well, let's restore everything by going to the drop down here and hit default. Um, and go to your timeline down here and notice there are these little diamond shaped things. These are keyframes. What a keyframe is, it allows you um, to set uh, parameters and then the computer will interpolate between those parameters such as motion. So you can set your uh, start and end point of some animation and then the computer will do the rest. So here we have at the beginning, let's say we have uh, our video is standing still and then we want it to fly off screen. So we'll move in about one second then we'll grab our video and fly it off screen. Now notice the computer automatically drops a keyframe there for you, indicated by this diamond mark. And if you go back up to the video, notice there's a keyframe here also that you can see, you can see um, if you don't happen to be in your track motion window. And now when you start at the beginning, the video flies off, starts on screen and flies off. A simple crude effect, but you get the idea. And you can do all kinds of stuff like that with the track motion. Uh, tool and with this timeline here it can be very powerful. If you right click on your keyframes it gives you several different uh, modes that each keyframe is in. I'm not going to go into each one of these but I'm going to mention smooth which will allow you to have braking on your video. So if you want something to fly in and come to a smooth slow stop like someone's tapping on the brakes um, that's the, the, the setting you, you want. Um, notice you can also do things like if you hit control and click and both of them have these little white marks in them uh, now you can move them both together. If you have a whole range of keyframes, you can you know, click on the first one and then hit shift click on the last one, just like in a file list in Windows, and they will all be highlighted. So, for example, if I wanted to manually add some keyframes right here, um, and then I hit click on this one, and shift click on that one, now I can move them all the way down or anywhere I want on the timeline. Uh, another tool to be aware of here is this sync tool sync cursor and it does exactly that. Suppose your cursor is somewhere on the timeline and you want to modify the video in that area, you hit sync cursor and your cursor moves to that position so you can do the modifying. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do with track motion. This is just scratching the surface but I want you to be aware of this because this is something you'll use again and again and if you're not using it now you're really missing out because it's got a lot of powerful features and it's built right into Vegas and it's very handy. This is howtomakeanything.com.